Hi everybody. The latest news is that the B-2 Spirit Bombers are back in the air after six months of being landed. What is the cause of the temporary dismissal, let's discuss. The U.S. Air Force's USAF B-2 Spirit Stealth Bomber is back in the air six months after landing. The B-2 was grounded in December 2022 following an accident involving one of Northrop Grumman's stealth bombers. The Air Force's Global Strike Command AFGSE, confirmed the resumption of B-2 Spirit flight operations. Previously, Air Force and Space Magazine first reported on May 18 that the safety break had ended and the B-2 would be back in the air in a few days. AFGSC did not provide additional details about the first B-2 sorties since the end of the groundbreaking period. However, in the official video circulating, it can be seen that the B-2 aircraft that was flown again had serial number 88-0332. This plane is called the Spirit of Washington. The plane flew from Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri in the morning. There are 20 B-2 units at the base. A publicly available recording of an air traffic control communication with the Kansas City Center also captures a brief conversation with the crew of the B-2, who was using the call sign Spirit 01 during the flight, wrote the war zone. If you know more deeply, the Northrop Grumman B-2 Spirit is a warplane with stealth technology used for bombing. Aircraft made of thermoplastic materials are used by the U.S. Air Force. Northrop Grumman is prime contractor for the U.S. Air Force B-2 Spirit stealth bomber. The mission of this aircraft is to destroy enemy bases or military bases without being seen by radar. The advantage of the B-2 is that it can penetrate sophisticated air defense, radar, shields, 21 B-2 Spirits were first delivered to Whiteman Air Force Base in Missouri in December 1993. In its first three years of service, the operational B-2 Spirit achieved a reliability rate of 90% when carrying out sorties. An assessment published by the USAF that two B-2 Spirits with precision weapons can do the job of 75 conventional aircraft. Like other aircraft, even though it has sophisticated equipment, the B-2 Spirit has experienced a gray period. The bomber crashed after failing to take off from Anderson Air Base on Guam, Pacific Islands. This is the first incident of an anti-radar plane nicknamed Stealth Crashing since it was introduced to the public in 1988. Captain Sheila Johnston, spokeswoman for Combat Command, Langley Air Base in Virginia, USA, said that in the incident two pilots reportedly managed to eject from the plane, which at that time had no ammunition, and survived. 